everyone, welcome back to the Exam Vision YouTube channel. My name is Ellen and today we're going to be talking about how to get a H1 in chemistry. I did make this video last year but obviously there is a whole new year of 6th year students and 5th year students. So I wanted to remake the video to reiterate the most important points on how to get a H1 in chemistry. So yeah, without further ado, let's get on with the video. The first thing I want to talk about is that with chemistry you cannot rope learn pretty much anything. You will not get a H1 by rope learning. I would never recommend rope learning for anything, but technically in biology, you could rope learn everything if you wanted to, and you'd probably do decently well. But chemistry, you can't do that at all. You need to understand everything in order to get a H1 in chemistry. I wanna be telling you everything that really differentiates between a H1 student and a H2 student, because there's a lot. I think most people on their own can get up to a H2, but there's little tricks and different things you should be doing in order to get that H1. Just as a little backstory, I did all three sciences for my Leaving Cert. I set my Leaving Cert in 2021, which was the year we had predicted grades, but also we set the exams. And I do just want to point out, I did get my H1 in the exam myself. It wasn't just predicted for me, I did actually achieve it. So I have the qualifications to make this video. If it is a couple of weeks before you're leaving cert or maybe a month or two before you're leaving cert and you're watching this video and you haven't studied at all, I just wanna quickly get to the point of the most important topics and chapters because that's probably why you clicked on this video. So we may as well just address it first. I would say chapters two, three, four, five, and six. That is like the bonding, the atom, history of the atom, intermolecular, bond, intermolecular bonding and electronegativity. All of those things are super important and if you have a really good basis in all of those chapters, you will be able to learn organic chemistry easily. So they are definitely the most important topics to really understand deeply because if you do, you won't struggle as much with organic chemistry, which is obviously a huge part of leaving cert chemistry. The next thing I wanna talk about is obviously understanding and how to understand all of the material in chemistry. For me personally, I used to write all of my own notes in chemistry. Yes, I was lucky enough to have a really great teacher who did supply me with her notes, but I still wrote my own notes from the notes that I was given. And for me, that worked really well because I am a visual learner. And so writing all of those notes down was helping me to understand the material, to learn the material, and just really was making me repetitively write down the same thing over and over again. And so it really just pushed it into my head and made it stay there. The very beginning of understanding everything in chemistry is listening in class. It is so important in chemistry to listen the course moves at a very fast pace, it is massive. And the minute you fall behind, it is going to be very difficult for you to catch back up again. So if you're not listening in class and hoping that you will just be able to catch up and teach yourself everything at home, you really need a reality check and <laughs> you will not be able to do that. If you're not listening in class, understanding the material in class by asking questions to your teacher, you will not achieve a H1 in chemistry, to be point blank. I would listen in class, I would ask my teacher questions, I would never leave without having all my questions answered on what we had just been taught. If I had to stay after class to ask another question to get her to explain it to me again, I would. And I have no shame in that because these things are how you achieve the highest grades in these exams. After being taught a topic in class, the next step for me was always to write my notes. I would write notes on every single topic in chemistry. I think I had three binders full of notes for leaving cert chemistry from fifth until the end of sixth year. Everyone learns differently, but for me personally, writing notes was so great. It was really like active learning style. I also wasn't just like, you know, writing the notes. I had no idea what was going on. Everything that I wrote down was things that I understood. I would not write anything down I did not understand. If I had to go and, you know, watch a YouTube video or read over my teacher's notes or look for something in the textbook, which I never really did because the textbooks are awful. But if I had to do that, I would to make sure I understood it before I went down into my notes. Because all of my notes were written in my own words so that when I was going back to actually revise for my leaving cert and learn the stuff off, it was all in my own words. I understood everything. Sometimes if there was a tricky topic, I would have little written notes beside it just to kind of explain it to myself when I'm coming back, you know, three months later. And it was all personalized to me and my learning style. And that's why I find writing your own notes so helpful because even though if your teacher supplies you with notes, which is great, I still think you should be writing them in your own words in order to teach yourself. Instead of just staring at their notes and trying to learn them off, writing them down is how you get them inside your head. I'm telling you. If you don't have as great of a teacher and they don't give you notes and you're expected to work from the textbook, I would highly recommend checking out the exam vision courses and bundles. Their chemistry course is absolutely amazing. They have H1 standard notes, they have video lessons, presentations, quizzes. 
They have exam questions per topic and all of their correlating answers. And so if you don't understand a topic or maybe it's a little bit too late for you to start listening in class, maybe it's the month before you're leaving, so if you're watching this. Watching all of those videos, you can watch them as many times as you want. You have the H1 standard notes there. You can print them off, put them into your binder, whatever works for you. But through Exam Vision, everything is there through one accessible website. And I would highly recommend checking them out. The next thing I wanna talk about is obviously exam questions. Everyone talks about exam questions, but these are just kind of my unique points on how to learn through exam questions. Honestly, after writing your notes in chemistry, or if you don't wanna do that, after reading through your teacher's notes, how you learn a topic is you go back 10 years and you do every single exam question and mock question that has ever come up on that topic. If you don't understand one, you go and you know watch a tutorial on how to do it, you ask your teacher in class, you don't just write down the answer and hope for the best. You have to understand how to actually do it because you, you don't understand. And that question may or may not come up on your paper in June. So you need to understand every single question. After completing all of those exam questions, I would always use flashcards, the big flashcards now, not the little ones. And I might have one or two flashcards per topic or per chapter in chemistry. And I would write down all of the important information on those flashcards, front and back. When I mean important information, I mean everything that I was just asked in those 10 years of exam questions. Every question that was repeated, what the answer was, all of the important information and facts. Some of the chapters I might only have like eight points and that was pretty much everything that was asked in the past 10 years. If it's only eight points, it's only eight points. Don't feel like, oh, because the chapter is four pages long in your textbook, you need to know all that information because you don't and it's a waste of time. And as I'm saying, chemistry is a huge course and you need to condense it down. That's why the flashcards are so great. And that means, you know, right before your leaving cert, right before your chemistry exam, whether it be a week or a day before, you can go through all these flashcards, read those eight points, and most likely that's all you're going to need to know on the topic. But you understand all of the topics, so if something else gets asked, you most likely know the answer. And that's really how you understand and learn everything in chemistry. Understanding is the basis of everything. One last point I wanna say before I end this video is titrations. Titrations are so important and they're so repetitive, so please make sure you know them like the back of your hand. In every titration, they're gonna ask you like, how do you clean a pipette? You should know that like the back of your hand and make sure you're looking at the marking schemes in those kind of questions because even if you leave out like one single point that could be like two marks gone so make sure you have every single point you need to say in there and just rope learn it off because they're the exact same questions every single time especially the cleaning ones anyway i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and it gave you some insight in how to achieve that h1 in chemistry which is easy to do if you know how and i will talk to you all next week bye